सो हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट माय कोर्स डिटेल सो व्हाट ऑल द थिंग्स आई हैव कवर्ड इन माय सीरीज सो दिस इट इज अ डेमो सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस आई हैव कवर आई हैव क्रिएटेड फोर सीरीज एंड ई सीरीज हैव डिफरेंट कोर्स कंटेंट सो इन द सीरीज फर्स्ट आई हैव जेनरी जेनरली क्रिएटेड अबाउट द रियल टाइम ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम बेसिक टू एडवांस लेवल सो एनी वन कैन ईजली लर्न इन दिस सीरीज so if they doesn't have any knowledge about the kubernetes they can easily learn in this series so in this series i have covered these topics so you can see it here i have generally covered around 70 topics so all the topics are related to the real environment so those topics are generally used in my in my current kubernetes project like uh, like uh, how do we say how do we upgrade the cluster because cluster upgradation is a mandatory to every three to every quarter you have to upgrade your cluster and the main topics about like how do we create the scr repo scr repo is the where we have manage our container registry so how do we create how do we push and pull the image from local machine to the scr repo how do we set up the valor backup tool how do we uh, create the service which service we have to use to expose your application so i will share i will add this course content in my description box so you can check like what all the topics i have covered in the series first and in the second series i have covered around 20 plus live troubleshooting issue so all the issue i have faced in my project in my or uh, in my all kubernetes journey so i have uh, so based on that i have created those session so i have created the issue in my lab and i have fixed those issue in the same same session so if like if you attend any interview so interview at interview ask you tell me about your issue like which type of issue you have work on in your project and uh, what uh, which type of challenges you face in your project so that you can easily explain about after complete this series so that you can explain to the interviewer that you work on this type of issue and you have fixed this issue by using this command and by using this troubleshooting button so i have explained in my session so let me show you suppose this is the live troubleshooting session i have created around 20 issue so you can see it here issue 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it's around 40 it's around 20 issue so if you see here uh, so you can see some pod having crash loop back some pods having om killed error so i have created those issue at the end of this session you can see all the issue has been fixed so now you can see the pods are up and running here so earlier the pod was stuck in om killed and crash loop back so so that you can all so i have used all the command and troubleshooting method i have explained in this session so that you can also explain to the interviewer like some type pod getting fail state so how do you fix those issue so sometime pods are image pull back error so you can see it here it is image pull back error of the the troubleshooting method of the then you can see all the pods and up and running and our application is accessible so in this type you can fix those so you can see some pods are in pending state so at the end of session you can see the pods are up and running now the pods are up and running state so similar way i have created the aks cluster using all the three way so i have created the cluster using azure portal i have created cluster through the azure cli i have created a cluster through the terraform also so i have i will say all the codes uh, when you i i will say the all the codes like how it's a very simple code where i have created the kubernetes cluster by using terraform and even also i have a, i have uh, created the some troubleshooting like when you are able to when you are going to create a Q, kubernetes cluster at that time what is which type of issue you are facing which type of uh, troubleshooting you have to fix those issue so you can see like some troubleshooting uh, steps in terraform also like on the aks cluster when you are going to create the cluster so those things i have covered in this and this is the series first so in the series first i have covered around all the topics like you can see it's around 1 1 hour and 
45 minutes session so all the topics i have covered in this series first like from 1 to 70 topics so those things i have covered in this series so in this series you can see here some ports are like so it's the uh, uh, suppose you have deploy any application so your application is not secure so you, in this case what you have to do okay because in the production environment whenever you have deploy any tomcat application so it's a not secure so you have to secure this application your application should be running over https so in this case you have to create the ssl certificate okay so you have to create the ssl certificate so what are the process to create the ssl certificate and uh, to create the ingress object what are the uh, how the traffic flow from uh, from from port to outside the cluster so all the thing i have covered in this session like uh, how do we create the generate the csr certificate you can see here so i have explained about all the process like how do we create the csr how do we create the ssl certificate how do we create the tls certificate how do we import the tls certificate so that your application will be more secure you can see here this site is secure so in the production environment you have to once you have deployed the application so you have to make sure your application should be running over https in this case you have to create the certificate so i have i have explained all the process like how do we generate csr certificate and <coughs> after that how do we raise the ssl certificate and where we have to import the ssl certificate those things i have explained and in this session i have explained about the cluster upgradation like which version first i have to choose like which uh, uh, which one is the latest one and which version first we have to upgrade the first so those things i have explained in this session and i have uh, and i have uh, upgraded the cluster in this session also like earlier the cluster was in old state and once i have uh, completed the cluster upgradation in this uh, in this session in this lecture like which command i have to use to run the uh, cluster upgradation and which version uh, we have to use and uh, what are the pre tasks what are the post tasks during the cluster upgradation those things i have explained and and uh, what are the challenges faced during the cluster upgrade, upgradation those things also i have covered in this session so that if interview asks you tell me about your uh, challenges during the cluster upgradation so you can also explain I have explained about three, four challenges during the cluster upgradation. Those things I have covered in this session. So you can see your cluster is not able to upgrade something, getting this error. So how do we fix the issue and how do we upgrade the cluster? Those things I have covered. Same thing I have deployed the Jenkins pod. So how do we access the Jenkins application? So this Jenkins is running as a pod. You can see it here. I have, I have deployed the uh, Jenkins pod. You can see here. Yeah, Jenkins pod is up and running. I have created load balancer service. By using load balancer service, I have accessed the Jenkins application. So this is the my dashboard of Jenkins. So this is the Jenkins pod. So this is covered in the series first and series two and the third one is the third series. So in this series I have covered about the client requirement. So whenever you work in the Kubernetes project, so sometimes the cl client want like you have to deploy the cluster with this term and condition. Okay, sometimes customer want to deploy the uh, application on this particular worker node sometimes customer want like suppose in a cluster you have five worker node uh, let me show you so this is the project requirement so i have created is around 20 to 25 uh, lecture on this client requirement so in the client requirement sometimes like uh, the customer would want to deploy the application and they want like uh, they want to deploy the application in a particular worker node okay so how do we achieve this one sometimes they want you have to add a new worker node in a cluster you have to uh, 
uh, scale up the worker node suppose they want to onboard a new application with heavy onboard a new application but the cluster has over utilized so in this case uh, how do we fix the issue how do we scale up the worker node okay sometimes the customer want like no new pod will be scheduled over the new over the over the one of the worker node so how do we achieve this one okay so this type uh, so do so how so i have covered around uh, 2025 lecture on this project requirement so i have explained very like uh, in the very simple uh, way i have explained all the things like uh, what are the client requirement what are the troubleshooting method what are the uh, advanced topic like advanced topic means uh, uh, I want to take the back of an entire namespace suppose in a namespace you have 20 uh, 20 applications running in the namespace okay then how do we uh, how do we take the back of an entire namespace and I have set up the I am using the value tool as a backup tool in the Kubernetes so I have set up from the scratch level and which uh, I have used, uh, I have also explained uh, about, uh, about the on-prem migration from uh, uh, on-prem migration to cloud. Those those process I have explained like how do we migrate entire Kubernetes cluster which is running over the on-prem to Azure cloud. So those things uh, I have already discussed in this session like what are the way to migrate the cluster from on-prem to cloud. So those things I have covered and the fourth series I have covered about the separate session on day-to-day tasks in Kubernetes environment. So the this is a very important, uh, important lecture like uh, uh, the interview asks you tell me about your day-to-day tasks in Kubernetes environment. So I have explained about this thing like what are your day-to-day tasks and the second thing like uh, the first question of interview interview is tell me about yourself okay like tell me about your project detail so i will share the kubernetes project details like how many total cluster you have managed what are the cluster size how many what are the worker node size how many total applications are running there which type of application are running there which tool you have used in your project like how what are how many team size are there and which all the tool you have used which service you are using to expose your application so i will say all the infrastructure details and i will say some 50 plus interview question and 20 plus scenario based question with solution so those things i will dis- i will share in this series for and this is the day to day task so So day-to-day tasks in this session I have explained like what are the day-to-day tasks of the Kubernetes admin uh, ad- admin profile jobs. So the many many one have this uh, doubt like there is no profile only for Kubernetes uh, jobs because so if you learn the Kubernetes then you have a two way to work in the environment. Okay, first way you have to work as a devops engineer so because in the devops like uh, kubernetes should be mandatory because in the devops if you have set up the ci cd pipeline so release pipeline should be deployed over the kubernetes environment so kubernetes knowledge is mandatory and there is separate profile only for the kubernetes uh, admin in the kubernetes admin you have to manage all the cluster suppose like in your project you have 100 and 200 cluster then you have to manage those cluster like uh, you have to upgrade the cluster if any issue happened over the cluster then you have to fix those issue like sometime pod getting OM killed sometime pod having crash loopback sometime pods having image pullback error so this type of issue you have to fix those issues sometime the customer requirement like you have to scale up the no cluster you have to add a new worker node in a cluster you have to uh, deploy the application in a cluster so you have to manage so if you see in the nokia.com you will get like around 15,000 only for the job for the kubernetes administrator job you can see here kubernetes administrator 
so there is a separate profile in the market also to work only for the kubernetes admin okay so if you like learn this technology then you will get a chance to work in this dev in this domain okay so in this series i have already explained about like how many total series series i have covered in my in my session so it's about series one two three and four so this is the feedback like i i got the feedback from the student who took my course so this is the a uh, few feedbacks i have present you like uh, and they they uh, uh, appreciate about this series like they are very helpful to crack the interview and to get the real time exposure after complete this all the series so they are really appreciate of this type of series because when i took the interview i realized like uh, they have certified like they have all the certificate about cka ckd and they have all the certification but they doesn't have the real time about the kubernetes so in this way they are lacking in the interview like 90 percent candidate they just mention in the resume like they are they have experience in kubernetes but when they, but when i ask about some real time question but they stuck at the time because they doesn't have any real time exposure in the kubernetes so that's why uh, i have created this type of series so that the other one could when get also the real time exposure like what are the day to day tasks which type of issue generally we generally we work in the production environment which type of challenges we face what are the day to day tasks what are the customer requirement what are the challenge faced in in the production environment so those things i have covered in the whole package okay so thanks so this is all the all the course course detail course content i will cover in all the four series so let me know if you want more de more details on this so you can ping me over my whatsapp number so that i will uh, discuss more on this so thanks for watching thank you